Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to trace, cut, and outline an image. These are probably my most asked questions in the comment section because Xtool has done updates in the past that have removed some of the edit features that we had previously. So it's a little bit harder to find some things that were easy to find at one time. So we'll get right to it. So to start off with, like always, I have a blank, untitled Xtool canvas. Now let's insert an image that they already have pre-made. So since this is a pre-made image, I can do many different things to it. Coming on the right hand side, I can engrave, score, which lightly scores around the outside of the image. I like to think of a score as kind of an outline of the image, or I can cut the image. As you can see with the cut, it just has lower speeds and it can go up to 100% power. The differences in the three, engrave, engrave side to side the whole thing so once this tree is finished it will be dark. Score just lightly scores around the outside of the image to kind of give you an outline of it and then cut obviously cuts through the image if you give it the right speed and power. So that's all real simple with the shapes that Xtool provides. But what happens if you put in your own shape or image that you want to cut around, score, or trace? So let me show you that. So I just inserted an image of a punch bug, my girlfriend's favorite car. So we're going to learn how to remove all the white space and cut around the outside or inside of this car. So first thing, I want to remove this outside white space because if we engraved it now, it would engrave all this white part and we don't want that because it's just really a waste of time. So I can come out here to the cutout tool. We're going to do a manual cutout. You can use the AI cutout feature, but it requires credits and you have to do things for X tools such as post videos and things like that to get credits or you can pay for credits. And that's not something I like to do very much, so I normally just use the manual cutout. Then using the magic wand tool, I can click the white space and make this a transparent image. I'm okay with that. I don't need all this small white space removed. So once I do that, I can hit confirm. But I also want to show you there's an eraser tool here too that if you need to erase any of the image. I'm not going to currently do that since I don't need it for this scenario. So I can hit confirm. Then I want to crop the image. And again, move, remove some of this unwanted square that was around the outside of the image. Okay, perfect. Now we have a transparent image. So I can select it, click the trace feature, and so now it's traced along the inside and outside of the image. So if I hit save here, I can pull it down and I can score, engrave, or cut this traced image. Because you see here on the original image that I put on, all I can do with it is engrave. I cannot score and I cannot cut this image without it taking a lot longer amount of time and having to really work on my speed and power and make sure that it's perfect. So that's one way to trace around the image so that you can do those three features, score, engrave, and cut it. We can also do an offset on the image. So here you can see this blue line. So it's put an offset around the image. So if I hit confirm for it, it will pretty much just make an outline of the image. This would be great if you've got layered engravings that you're gonna have to make. So maybe one layer you want one color and the other base layer you want another color. So you can engrave the original layer and then engrave the outer layer and then glue them on top of each other to make some sort of Christmas ornament or something cool like that. But one thing that I normally like to do is use this offset feature. Do the outer shape only. And then notice I can change the distance. So if I want a big distance between the engraving and what I'm going to cut out, I can change the offset distance. 
I don't believe I want it that big for this scenario. So I can hit confirm. And notice here with this shape, it's just a pure outline around the outside of the punch bug. I can cut this image. And I usually like to cut wood at 100% power, 7 millimeters per second, and 2 passes. And that's what I usually do for a small piece of basswood. You can also come up here to the material settings and find your piece of material. So then use the settings that Xtool gives because they've uh, tested a lot of different pieces of materials to see what speed and power is best for engraving, scoring, and cutting. So that's just three ways that you can manipulate your image a little bit to give you more out of your original image that you put on there. You can create something just like this that's an outline around the outside of an image. You can create an outline around the inside and the outside of the image or just the inside of the image. And then you can also trace along the lines here of your image. That way it can cover all areas so anything that you have to do to make this image onto your piece of material, you can do it. Thanks to the awesome Xtool Creative Space software that is very user friendly and honestly fun to use. So that's just a brief tutorial on how to use some of these new features. Previously on Xtool Creative Space you could use the edit button to uh, create some of these outlines but they've changed it around a little bit and moved it to the offset. So hopefully this is what you were looking for in this video. If you have any questions just leave them down in the comments section below and I'll try to answer them just as quick as I can. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel because the more subscriptions that I get and the more likes that I get, the more great videos that I can post. I just do this for fun to try to help you guys out. This isn't my full-time job. It's just a hobby for me. So I hope you guys have as much fun with it as I do and make it a passionate hobby that you can enjoy anytime. So again, I hope you guys have a great day and happy engraving.